morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day. <laughs> what day is it? 20. Day 20. Gosh darn. That went by really fast. Let me angle you a little better. So, as you can see, I'm sitting here. I don't know why it looks like I have makeup under my eyes on camera, because I don't. But anyway, hello. I hope you guys are having a good morning. Sorry about yesterday's vlogmas going up a little bit later. We're back on our usual scheduled programming today, honey. Let's light a candle, shall we? Let's get the ambiance. Because I'm going to try some new makeup products this morning. Some cheap, good old-fashioned drugstore makeup. Let's see how it is. <clears throat> so, I bought this like a really long time ago. I wanted to try some Wet n Wild makeup. Like, I feel like I've tried, like, a few of their eyeshadows. I don't really know what else. I haven't tried, like, a ton of it. So, I thought maybe today was the day. I can kind of try some more out for you guys. I'm sorry, the lighting. Is it better? Oh, is it better if I shut it off? <laughs> no, okay. So, I bought some of their foundation. I think this will match my self-tanner. I think it was a little bit too, um... I think it was a little bit too dark for when I am not self-tan. I got the shade Buff Bisque. I ordered it all online, so it was kind of like, you know, hoping for the best here. I also got the Photo Focus Concealer, tested under seven light conditions, cool. And I got the shade Light Ivory. This doesn't look that light, and I think it was the lightest shade. I also got a highlighter from there. Um, I'm very excited. It's the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It's new. It's in the color Precious Petals, and I have been looking for a good drugstore highlighter forever. I feel like I've never found a really good drugstore highlighter, so we'll see how that is. I also grabbed Comfort Zone Eyeshadow Palette because it's all colors in my comfort zone. See, I don't love their palettes because I've never seen one with like a mix of mattes and... Um, shimmer. This is all shimmer, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. And I also grabbed their brow pencil in the shade Blonde Moments. Looks more like, um, brown. But, you know what? We gonna try it out, honey. So, I have nothing on my skin right now. I'll go ahead and prime like normal, because I do like to give these things a fair chance, obviously. Like, I'm not gonna not prime my skin. I'm just gonna use a little Dr. Brandt. Pores no more. I don't have a lot of exciting stuff going on today, so I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to do this for quite a long time. I really want to see if this foundation will last. How's the coverage? All that jazz. So, let's see. This was also tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash. So there's no flashback. That's the whole thing with the photo focus. No flashback. Okay, so I have a freshly cleaned beauty blender. So let's go ahead and test out this bad boy first. So it comes with a little spatula. Might be a little light. But, you know what, we'll make it work. Can always bronze up. Looks like a lot, guys, but you girls got a big face. <laughs> got lots of cover. Okay, so let's see. You guys see, I have a lot of, I have a lot of acne scars, so if you're new here, that's my, the first thing I look for is if I can cover my scars. That's one layer of foundation. It's definitely not like super full coverage. I can still see, you know, some of my scarring. My scarring, I don't know what that sound was. But I mean, yeah. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on the sponge. I mean, it definitely covers it in two coats. It feels good on the skin, I'll say that much. It doesn't feel like heavy. Nothing's worse than a foundation that feels heavy. Nothing felt heavier to me than this one. Oh, I almost dropped it. Did you see that? Um, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This stuff feels like cement is on your face. I can't, <laughs> can't stand it. Color's pretty good though. I mean, it's definitely a little bit light. <laughs> I texted Alan. <laughs> He has my Christmas presents hidden in the closet that has our paper towels. <laughs> I'm like, can I go in and get paper towels? <laughs> He's like, if you close your eyes, I'm like, I need, I need to clean. Guys, my birthday is in four days when you're watching this. Four days. Your girl's gonna be 25 and I'm so excited. I think 25 is gonna be awesome. 25 doesn't scare me or anything. It just like, it feels like, it feels pretty, Old. But like it just you know personally it just always feels like I still feel like a 16 year old inside <coughs> 
like I sometimes <clears throat> I have trouble because I feel like that insecure little 16 year old still sometimes and I like you know remind myself like girl now you grown you confident oh I'm so thankful for my confidence being able to grow and I want you guys to know that it's a huge part because of you guys like I know I make these videos to help you guys feel confident but just know that they also help me a lot like when I talk about confidence and you know being plus size and still loving yourself and knowing that you're still beautiful and your size doesn't define you like when I tell myself when I tell you these words I'm also telling myself and kind of reminding myself because it's, it's easy to forget you know especially in today's society okay I actually really like the way this looks this is definitely buildable which is nice right <laughs> that looks so creepy in the background my ring light it looks really pretty once it's all on um it definitely isn't drying down like very well it still feels very very wet i'll give it a little time hopefully it will dry down a little bit all right let's try the concealer this is what the concealer looks like i mean this that color is actually really good do it do everywhere highlight sorry the lighting is so bad i feel like it's like just dreadful if I put you over here. I feel like that's a little bit better, yeah? Now you just have to like see my messy room in the background, which I'm gonna clean later. The issue is I clean it all the time, but it just gets dirty quick again because I, then I end up filming something and after you film something, you don't want to clean it up. Like you just don't like, you just wanna edit. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me text him back. Let's also get ready to bake. Use my favorite air spun to bake under my eyes. Let's see how the coverage is on this concealer. It's pretty good. Hmm, I wish I had started over here earlier, guys. I'm sorry the lighting sucked for the first few minutes. Oh, I feel like I have a hair. I feel like I have a hair near my eye. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right. This concealer is nice. It actually, this concealer actually dries down better than the foundation. Like I feel like this dried really nicely, and the foundation's actually starting to dry too. It doesn't look shiny, like at all. It looks good. It looks good. Okay, I'm gonna bake under my eyes because I have to do that. You guys know I crease like crazy if I don't. All right, so we'll bake and we'll see how it goes. Um, to set the rest of my face, I've been using my MAC um, oh, Mineralize Loose Foundation. Um, I use the shade light because I find it's actually, you know, fairly dark. Like it matches my self tanner. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. I haven't used this stuff in forever. I thought I thought I forgot how good it is. The mineralize, like it gives your skin like this really nice, fresh looking glow. And it adds a little extra coverage. I always like forget that I worked for MAC for like years. <laughs> and I love their products. I really do. I want to try something from Patrick Stars in line with them. That is huge. That Patrick Star has a line with MAC. That's amazing. That's a huge, huge step for the online beauty community. Like, I don't know him or anything, but it's like I'm so proud. Like, what the first, did you guys see the commercial for it on um, Instagram? <laughs> like, the preview for the, like, the collaboration. But when I saw it, I was like, oh my god. It was like, I got like chills. It was freaking fire. It just looked so cool. It's like, hell yeah, hell yeah, making moves. I hope one day I can make it to that level. I hope one day, just gotta keep keep doing what you're doing, chugging along. All right, so Color Icon Brow Pencil. This has the packaging of the Lord above. I don't even know. Okay, I am excited though because this does have a spoolie on it which is crucial. It's got a pretty soft formula. It kind of looks like poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I like the color. I mean, it's not bad. It's just like it's really cool tone. Like it almost looks kind of greenish. 
It's supposed to be like blonde. Maybe it looks better on camera. I don't know. Just a little too creamy for my liking. I definitely wouldn't buy this again. It's like you use a ton of product and it's just like you have to be really careful because it will just slide everywhere. I guess the color doesn't look that bad on camera. But when the product is so like gooey, it just like you have to be so careful. I kind of like my brow pencils to be a little bit more firm. So like you have a little more control. So I'm gonna get a pedicure today. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's vlog. I need a pedicure very badly. It's been a while. The great thing about gel is you can have a pedicure forever. If you guys just haven't tried a gel pedicure yet, just try it. Just try it. Cause it's an experience. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix this. Cause like I they look huge because I just couldn't like control <laughs> the pencil. Um I don't know. I ever since I switched to the gel pedicures, I can't stop. Cause they just last so long and they stay shiny. Do you guys have the dip powder for your nails where you are? Because I feel like some places don't have it yet. And when I'd gone to New York, like, they didn't do the dip there. Like, they didn't like it at the salon I went to. And I guess it's not, like, very common yet. I mean, maybe it is now. So you guys will have to let me know if you have the dip nails where you are. Because I am curious. Pretty good. It's not the worst brow pencil. It's just not the one I like for texture. It all depends what you like. Brows are on, honey. Let's go ahead, wipe away our baking. Love this brush from Sigma. It's the Tapered Face F25. It's perfect for sweeping away your baking. My face looks good. My foundation looks good, right? I like it. I like it. So, I don't have a bronzer from them or a blush. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of went with what I found on Amazon. So I'm gonna use my nan, my nan, 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 I was gonna say NYX, but it's NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer, of course. Love. I'll try to stick to like drugstore for the rest of my face. This is the best bronzer from the drugstore. Makes you look so bronze. Like you were out in the Bahamas. Um, let's see. We'll use Milani Blush. Romantic Rose. She's a favorite. To let you guys know, I have been really loving the Sigma brush set that I got on Cyber Monday because I needed new brushes. That's too much blush. I'll fix that. Um, I just wanted to like update you and let you know that I am enjoying it. I pretty much use all the brushes all the time. Too much blush. What happened? Okay. Let's try the highlighter. I'm so excited about this. Yes. So, Precious Pearls. Look how gorgeous. Let's do a swatch. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's going to be really pretty. It's kind of like between silver and gold. So, and I love this. This is the Sigma. This is not the sponsor. Tapered Highlighter F35. It's perfect for putting on highlighter. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to tap off the highlighter. It's already on there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, girl. Wow. It's gorgeous. This might be the best drugstore highlighter I've tried. Slash, I haven't tried that many, but <laughs> I've been doing like highlighter just down this little part of my nose and it makes it look contoured. <laughs> like I took a selfie, um, not a selfie, a picture in the city the other day. And it was, I was smiling. It's the full body of me smiling. I was like, my face looks different. My mom was like, I see that. And I was like, I think it's because I like tried to like contour my nose. <laughs> and I don't really smile in pictures. Guys, that's life. That's life. It's so good. I just want to like layer more. Like I shouldn't, but I will. <laughs> um, and then I try to just blend underneath where the blush is because it can kind of get a little whiny that's i'm impressed i'm deeply deeply impressed i'm gonna put some in my inner corners as well yeah this is nice it's a really pretty color they had other color options as well so you guys can definitely try them maybe i'll order more in the future 
and kind of see how they are. Try to blend a little. Cool, phenomenal, very exciting. Um, yeah, all right, I have the eyeshadow palette. I can't believe how good that highlighter is. I mean, I think, I wanna say I've heard good things about Wet n Wild's highlighters, because there's really not that many. Oh my God, I'm so excited that Christmas is coming. I'm pissed, it's gonna be 45 degrees. It's gonna be like mild hot rain, it said. I'm like, come on. Give us, give us a snowy white Christmas. We haven't had a white Christmas in forever. And like we have snow on the ground right now and of course it looks like super cozy for winter. But you know the second <laughs> it's raining, it's gonna melt all the snow. I know it's corny, but like I just, I don't know. It never quite feels like Christmas <clears throat> if there's not like, you know, cool weather and snow. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, so. Uh, I'm gonna use some of my bronzer in the crease just because like I need a matte color in the crease and this one doesn't have any blend that concealer in So I'm just using a little bronzer. Oh, I should use that highlighter on my brow bone, too I have no desire to clean this office. It's not even cleaning. It's just organizing the clothing It's from doing like <laughs> videos and stuff God. Okay, I'm gonna do a little of the highlighter. My brow bone, ooh, so pretty. And it's like subtle, it's not like overwhelming. Now I definitely wanna try the other colors. It's just like natural and pretty, not too much, okay. So, <clears throat> what I like about these, they're great for beginners because it says brow bone, brow bone, eyelid, eyelid, crease, crease, um, definer so it has pretty much the whole system here if you don't really know where to put colors <clears throat> I'm just gonna maneuver something on my own I want to do something different I'm gonna do the green let's do the green on our lid surprisingly very pigmented this is actually beautiful Wow it's really pretty I don't know if it's translating on camera how pretty it is I never wear green eyeshadow but I might start to today. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this crease color, add a little in the outer corner. I'm not gonna do too much because I have a very simple day ahead of me, but just a few colors. This is actually beautiful. I didn't even prime my eyelids. This is so pretty. What? What? Sweep away any fallout. Actually really pretty. They blend well, they're pigmented. Okay, so I just went ahead and threw on a little bit of lash and some lip gloss. This is the e.l.f. Mocha Twist. This gloss is everything. It is so creamy and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, oh God. It's also a plumping gloss as well. So it doesn't hurt or anything. It definitely gives like a nice little bit of plumpness. Um, but I love the colors. It's that really pretty like mauve nude. Um, so my lashes are Ardell Demi Wispies. So most of this was drugstore, um, but I just wanted to try like a, a few new like couple of drugstore products. So anyway, I think my face came out pretty good. Right? Pretty good? Pretty good. Um, so yeah, anyway, I will definitely be letting you guys know how this foundation wears. It's about uh, 9.30 in the morning right now. While I was doing my lashes, oops, I just watched the new Shane Dawson video. God, I've loved Shane, <laughs> clearly, forever. Um, not even forever, at least for the last few years, because I'm a little bit late to the YouTube game. But his content has evolved so much, and I love this new route he's taking of like, you know like very serious they almost feel like documentaries and i just oh i just love him so much like he deserves to make movies and just do everything he's oh, i just love shade i just love shade so much y'all he follows me on twitter i've talked about it before but why do you follow me on twitter if we're not gonna be best friends shade why did you follow me <laughs> i don't know how that happened but i'll show you i'll show you proof <laughs> That we're meant to be best friends. Um, <clears throat> when I read his book, I cried. When I read both books, I cried multiple times because I feel like we've had an extremely similar life, and I think that's why I like him so much. Not only because he's talented AF, but um, like we've just had very similar lives. Like we were both, like him. You know, obviously, lost a lot of weight. I'm still chubby, but um, <clears throat> you know, I also grew up 
bigger and with a single mom and um, kind of like outcasty in school. I don't know. I just like very much relate. Everything he was telling, I was just like, oh my god, same. But look, follows you. He follows me. Why do you follow me? I know you follow 24,000 people. Why am I one of them? Not complaining, but I want to know why. Alright guys, just got to the nail salon. I need to get my nails done too, but I want to push it to like right before. Look at that highlight. I want to push it to right before Christmas. Guys. Crazy. I like it. Anyway, I'm going to get my toes done today because that's... <laughs> A rough time I'm gonna leave you guys in the car because God knows it's gonna be quiet in there there's like no cars here no one really comes here in the morning which is why I like to come in the morning because it's crazy busy in the afternoon after school gets out <clears throat> but I'm wearing my new Calvin Klein puffer coat I'm obsessed with it you guys are gonna see it in the hall very very soon along with a lot of other insanely cute insanely cute things okay I'll be back all right, guys, I'm back at my apartment complex now. I'm next to the dumpster because I want to clean out my car for, like, a hot second. I have a lot of stuff in my car that needs to be thrown away from, like, moving, like, just crap in the trunk. And I have to get the third row up and ready for a family thing coming up. Anyway, so, guys, I never get spa pedicures. I'm like, ugh, it's a waste. It's, like, an extra, like, maybe, like, $15. I think and um the woman who was massaging my feet today was so good I usually like enjoy it but like I was like okay this is like so relaxing so like she was like do you want to upgrade I'm like is it more massaging she's like yeah so I got one and I was just so relaxed I feel like I was in there for like an hour like that's a long time to get a pedicure right maybe not for a spa I don't know but anyway I just picked up a little chipotle salad I'm very excited Gabby got me hooked on the salads I never liked the salads before um, but they're good so I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my car a little bit here um, eat some lunch I still need to go to the grocery store because I know I'm going I go to the grocery store all the time but like I don't really like bulk up on like produce and meats like I like to kind of go like every day or every other day to like pick up what I'm gonna make for dinner I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner yet um, I've kind of just been loving like simple grilled chicken and like sweet potatoes I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna make but anyway let's clean out my car <laughs> and take you guys with me it's a hot mess you guys don't even know like it's pretty bad I have it all like compiled here like, I bought extra toilet paper when it was on sale once, and I don't know when I'm going to actually need to use it. But, like, look at all the trash. Anyway, I should focus. I, I can't I can't hold you while I do this. BRB. Okay, also, guys, side note, I wanted to go ahead and give you a little update on the foundation. I feel like I look very, very glowy um, around here, but I think it's just the highlighter. Because look at my forehead. Like, barely any shine, if not none. So, I've had it on... Four and a half hours. I think the foundation is killing it. Honestly, like, sometimes with foundations, like, from the drugstore that are really affordable, they tend to break up after a few hours. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Wow. It's not, like, breaking up anywhere. It looks good. I think my skin looks awesome. The eyeshadow still looks pretty. Yeah, I'm like really impressed. I mean, I'll update you guys again later, but like, I feel like my skin still looks awesome. Okay guys, home from the grocery store. You guys know I picked up a lot of produce the other day, but I grabbed some more sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. They're like literally my favorite. I could eat them every day. <clears throat> you can literally just put them in the microwave too if you don't wanna like bake them or boil them. Put it in the microwave. <laughs> I bought the cranberries that I need for um, my drink, for my Christmas sangria. These were on sale two for one, so one was free. So I picked them up today. They should be fine for a little longer. I got lemons <laughs> for my lemon water that I drink every morning. So I got more chicken breasts because I eat chicken breasts almost every day. It has no points on Weight Watchers, just a little FYI. And I also got pork chops. And I got some ribs for Alan because he loves ribs. So uh, I'm a nice girlfriend. I'll make these for him <laughs> as I eat my chicken. Um, anyway, 
that's all for now so I've kind of come to the point where it's like that dreaded time where it's like okay you've run all your errands you've done everything you needed to do you finished your work <laughs> time to organize your office another day I do want to declutter my makeup drawers because I don't know how much old makeup is in there but right now I showed you guys like the Amazon haul I did which is coming soon I think that's gonna go up in two days or one day when you're watching this. It's gonna come up really soon, so get excited, it's really good. Um, I have to really just organize all the clothing. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't like organizing and cleaning things. Actually, I don't mind cleaning, it's clothes. I hate dealing with clothes. Okay, I'm just watching Vlogmas videos on my phone and organizing all this clothing. So I have um, a pile that goes into my closet, which I'm putting on hooks, and then I have a pile for donations. Um, yeah, let's do it. I have my light up mirror because other than that it'd be really dark so I'm done organizing you can actually see my <laughs> you can actually see my bench again which is a miracle like it's all clean I have to vacuum now but you know what we did it just got to bring those clothes to the women's shelter I'll probably do that tomorrow <clears throat> and I guess that's it so I'm gonna probably wrap this up on here is that a hair i don't know what's on there um probably gonna wrap this up so i can edit it make some dinner go to bed <laughs> winter time is so weird because i literally like make dinner at like five or six and then i just like chill i am feeling better enough to start going to the gym again soon though so that's good i do miss going to the gym but look oh i think i showed you guys this the other day oh i just love my christmas dress my little emerald Christmas dress. So cute. I'll link it below if you have any desire because it's so cute for Christmas. Oh, I don't know if you'd get it in time. That's the only issue. Anyway, I feel like today's vlog is going to be really, really long, but you guys like that, right? <laughs> Again, sorry about yesterday's vlog being uploaded very, very late. Well, not like very late, but later than usual. You'll be watching this one tomorrow at like eight in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Guys, I'm sitting here editing this and I realized I completely forgot to give you a final update on the foundation. So I've had it on now like eight hours and it looks amazing. Like I didn't touch up once, didn't put on powder throughout the day once. I stayed matte, it didn't break up or get like chunky or weird or like greasy. I honestly would highly recommend this foundation and I'm oily, you know, I... I'm like not picky about foundation, but like I have a hard time, you know, not getting shiny or having it break up on me. But like, look how good it looks. I've had it on for so long. I'm like shocked and the highlight is still popping. Definitely recommend, great purchase. Um, wouldn't bother with a brow pencil. Definitely yes to the foundation. Okay, I'm sorry, that's all. See you tomorrow, bye.